Welcome to today's broadcast of the Youth Elite League here on YHH. The Lakers hosting the Thieves at the 2011 level. Game three of a three pack here from Champlin Ice Forum in Champlin, Minnesota. And they built this rink, they built it right. Very nice facility. Two sided stands, beautiful locker room area. A lot of separation between players and parents. I like having, uh, as a coach, I like having my own area away from the parents. Uh, beautiful lobby, really nicely done. Really good facility here. And they have a little outdoor rink right next door. Lakers and Thieves about to drop the puck here. Lakers doing one last sweep. And then we'll drop the puck here from the Forum. I had a chance to broadcast the Lakers on Saturday. My first glimpse of a very thin roster of players from the Thieves. I wouldn't say ultra thin, but they probably looks like 12 or 13 out of their 20 rostered players. All right, Jason Bergeron, referee, drops the puck. And it's Matthew Tranby behind his own net. Doesn't have his red breezers on today. I thought the red breezers were a good look. Good puck movement right out of the gate. Here's Cooper Green. He loses the puck. Thieves cut him off. This is Griffiths, liked his game on Saturday. Leafs try to bring it out, they can't. Ryerson feeds it through. Now Thiebert feeds it across. Good puck movement. Cutting in, nice little dish. Ryerson shot. View makes the save. Nice pass by Jackson Sorvig. Tranby with a shot and a glove save by Thieves goaltender Blake Baxi. Baskai. I almost got it wrong. Almost. Baskai from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Back to the point. Shot on that seeing eye shot. Got through most of the traffic. That wrister by Hudson Lochner. And now Easton Yee back checks on it, pokes it through. Good center feed, Yee can't pick it up. Shot on, pad save, Basque. Thieves battling for it, can't control it. And battling through. Good battle here. This is Jake Maurer for the Lakers from Moundsview Irondale. This one flipped up in the glass. Scooping it up is Comey. Gabriel Comey who will bring it in north and south. Goes to his backhand as he's cut off. Claybow. Pushed off the puck. Ryerson pokes at it, can't get it loose. Now Eidelbees, Eidelbees. Name spelled incorrectly in the program, spelled Eidelbass. Met him in the locker room and we made a correction there in the roster. Door feed, nice bond shot, what a pass and a goal. Lakers take an early lead. 
Gabriel Comey gets the goal on a pretty backdoor feed, and the Lakers grab the lead here in Champlin. Comey with a pretty goal, but it was actually the pass that made it look good. Even better. And the Lakers grab the lead. Eidelbees takes it the long way all the way around. Hits referee Jason Bergeron on the skate. And now we have a scrum along the hash mark. And the Thieves clear it to neutral. And the Lakers regroup themselves, but in the regrouping process, lose the puck. And the Lakers play this one out. Chasing it down is Bach, Hudson Bach. Fires it all the way out. Intercepted by Austin Clark. Clark gets it. He storms in, takes it wide. Nice move, goes to a backhand shot and a pad save. By the Thieves goaltender, Baskin. Bass guy. I'm gonna get it eventually. Ryerson. Feeds it to Clark. Clark's been on a mission here today. Makes another nice move. And back comes Mertz. Mertz, push, gets it back. Shot, goal! Brigham Mertz from Grand Rapids goes backhand, glove side. And the Thieves tie the score at one to one. Mertz with a pretty move there, shot. Some good hockey players in this game. A lot of kids that will be playing in the uh, Bantam Elite League, minor Bantam Elite League. The uh, Northern kids, namely the Thieves, have yet to be invited. The Metro kids, like, uh, Matthew Tranby, we've called his name, has been invited to the league. Northern invites out Monday, I believe. Dotting the I's, crossing the T's on a few kids in front. Now back the other way. Here comes Mertz again, who we saw in the Stars of Tomorrow. Starred quite heavily in the Stars of Tomorrow, I might add. He and Bass Guy were on the 2011 North team. A long outlet feed. Ryerson can't pick it up. Maurer goes into his own zone. Finds Solvig. That passes off the mark. Solvig intercepts it. Gets a shot on net. And now Thiebert. Two Thieberts tonight. One at the 14 and one at the 11 level. Lochner reverses ice, rips it around to Maurer. Maurer can't catch up to it. Fresh ice. Here comes Comey. The lone goal today. He's got it. Ooh, good poke check by Eidelbees. And the kids are just whipping it around right now. Going from a 13 game to an 11 game is so much more skill and puck possession and speed than a 13 game. Big adjustment for the referees and even the play-by-play uh, -play guy. Now a little two-on-one. Mertz open. Toe drag, shot, rebound. That's all in. Nice goal there. He took it to the house. Jackson Thiebert showing off his mitts there and gives the Thieves a 2-1 lead. What a goal. 
Mertz gets the first one, Fiebert with the second one. It's 2-1 in favor of the Thieves. Mertz will hustle it down in the near corner. Feeds it in front, that hits a skate, goes into the corner. This one pops out, it's gonna come all the way down. Good hustle. Here's Cooper Green coming out to block it. Oh, he makes an error. Marsden comes out, makes the error. Lakers capitalize, fire it, grabs some post, and comes out of the net. Good opportunity for the Lakers. And not that Marsden did, he did the right thing. He just didn't get a lot of wood on his play there. Marsden with a nice little paddle save. Cutting through, Tranby shot, that one goes just wide. Tranby just kind of takes over. Red breezers, black breezers, doesn't matter. Kid has got game. Now the Lakers come back, Griffiths. Finds Green, Green does one touch pass it, loses it, now Griffiths again, shot. Hits a shin pad. Goes into the corner. Clark. Battles for it. Clark, a St. Michael Albertville kid. A lot of STMA kids in the Lakers organization. That one cuts, that was offsides. Good call by Jason Bergeron there. They're offsides. Referee Bergeron yelling, telling them to get back on side. Now Tranby says, ah, give me some space. I'm gone. He gone, he cutting in. That's in, tries to feed it in front. Good one-time pass. Just off the mark of Easton Yee's stick. Yee gets it back, holds it. Deeks feeds it to Clark. Clark onto his backhand, gets pushed a bit. Yee again goes to the wraparound. Good save by Marsden, shutting the door on Yee. 5.09 to go in the first, 2-1 game. Thieves holding it in his mower. Back the other way, Thieves, Ryerson finds it. Ryerson getting chased by Yee, good back check. 200 foot player. Love seeing that play, Maurer with it. Chased down by Peyton Nicholson. Nicholson and Tammy. On the four check for the Thieves. Good play, good back check, good four check from Yee. And he breaks it out, fires it, goes wide into the corner. Clark feeds one in front. Now he gets a shot, that's blocked. And back comes Mertz. Mertz hustled down. There's another good hustle play by Clark. Shot on, grabbed in the webbing is Colton View, freezing it with 4.15 to go. Thieves leading the Lakers. 2-1 here late in the first period. Now cutting in, shot. Marsden with the save on a two-on-one. Puck comes all the way out. Maurer feeds it low. Had Atiev with it. First time we've called his name today. We called his name a million times on Saturday afternoon. Now on the chase. Lochner hustled down by the Thieves four checker Mertz. We've called his name 45 times here in the first period. Good hustle. Atiev shot. Looking for the pass. What a pass. Atiev to Comey again. His second of the day. And I'm gonna go with Atia was the, had the pass on the first one. So he gets the double assist, Miroslav. Atia with the second apple of the day. 328 to go. We're tied at two apiece. Running in, shot and a glove save by Marsden. Get a face off to his blocker side. Clark. 
Cutting through. Intercepted. Sorvig shot. Save. My view. I think we're going to get two goaltenders from both teams tonight. Love seeing that. Ryerson gets his pocket pick. Nice play there by Wesley Cooper. Another St. Michael Auberville PBAA last year. This one's taken away by the Thieves. the wall. Picking it up. Backing out is Maurer. Maurer to Cooper. Cooper backhands it through. Now chasing it down is Cooper Green. Green with a shot. Blocked. Nice defensive play there by the Thieves defender. Intercepted. Good play. Stick handle. Shot. That's over the crossbar. Both teams with a lot of chances. Feel like we've had more grade A chances in this first period than we did <laughs> the entire game, two first two games. Sighting, back and forth play, 2-2 two -two game, late first. Coda spins, wielding it through. That's Mason West. West, ooh, a little bit of an offsides there with a buck 41 to go here in the first. Score tied 2-2 between the Lakers and Thieves. In the corner, pushed off the puck. Cut loose, taken away, and back come the other way. Here come the thieves. Diebert got one goal already, and he's looking for another. Ryerson to Thiebert. Good four check by the thieves. This one's picked up. By Sorvig, Sorvig fakes to his forehand, goes to his backhand. Oh, left pass, nice pass, right to the backhand side. Cutting in, toe dragging, Thiebert knocked off the puck. Long feed, find the stick of Yi. Yi, one touch pass. Feeding it, oh, another good pass there. Coda had Austin Clark just off the heel of the stick, wider than that as we're going under 30 seconds. Griffiths blows a tire, but finds the stick. His pass finds a stick of Clark, who loses it. Idlebice clears it in. Tranby, he'll bring it up. He'll go one on two. He'll try to take it wide. Leans in, wrist shot. Deflected by Idlebice wide of the net as clock is down to zero. That's it for the first 2-2 two -two Lakers and Thieves. We'll be back here in a minute after a word from our sponsor. In life, we all need a little help to reach our summit. Whatever your summit looks like, it's easier to reach when your body is strong and healthy. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Brew Pub Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Crew Pop, lots and lots of pizza, supports hockey anytime, anywhere.
All right, we're back for period number two. Scores tied at two. Thieves and Lakers. 2011 level. This is Major Pee Wee's last year. The equivalent of Major Pee Wee's. Cutting in, shot. Veyu struggles with that one just a little bit. And they shot that one on net. Strasburg shot, kind of bounced wide. Sorvig in the corner, takes a hit, fends it off. Now Griffiths, Simon Griffiths. His pass deflects off a skate. That's gonna be Miroslav Atiev. Held in, Tranby hits a shin pad. Mertz picks it up. Love his game, he's got great stick skill. Isn't afraid to move it when necessary. And oh, in front, here he goes, shot! Good save there. So we're getting some great hockey plays and some great saves too on top of that, fun game. Off the skate, chipped up, nice hockey play. We got a two or three on oh. Heading in, shot, goal! Lakers on a three on oh, a blown coverage by the Thieves, and it's 3-2 Lakers. Cooper Green had a man open on the back door and said, I'm going low glove side, nothing. Tegan Marsden's gonna be able to do it about that. That's a hard shot to save. And Tegan had a lot going on in his calculator on that one. Okay, I got a guy in the high slot open. I got a guy in the back door. I got a guy, this guy coming at me. I can't come too far out. I can't stay too far in, but nevertheless, Cooper Green finishes it off and it's 3-2. Lakers grab the lead back. High backdoor, good, good attempt there. It's intercepted by the Lakers. Wesley Cooper, Cooper with his head up, feeds, good save there, rebound, two big saves right there from Tegan Marsden to keep the score 3-2. An onslaught of opportunities. Great A opportunity, seems like every shift for at least one of the teams, sometimes both teams get a good chance. Cooper feeds it rink wide, shot off by a mile at least, maybe a half a mile by Mason West. Another St. Michael Elver kid, Albertville kid. Played Pee Wee Double A's last year on a pretty darn good team. They were good last year, but I think their team is gonna be special. Next year I was going through their roster of first years and second years last on last year's team and Wow, they got a lot of kids coming back, including the superstar, Keaton Vistum, a 2012 birth year kid. I think they will give teams a run. They could be a top eight team in the state PBAA next year. Which means they'll earn a buy in the uh, kickoff Big Pumpkin, which I think that's a first, be a first time that the Knights have gotten that in that long standing tournament. I think we're on our 12th or 13th pumpkin. A rich history of great Minnesota players. All have played in that tournament over the last 12 seasons, including this kid, Austin Clark, played for STMA last year. Fed in front, steered into the corner just wide. That was Easton Yee, shot on puck, trickle shot, goal! Loose puck converged on by the Lakers. Chase Coda, Coda buries it and it's four to two. Coda, Comey with two and Green with one. And the Thieves showing a little bit of bus legs right now, down 4-2. I suspect they'll make a little bit of a surge at some point. Early second, 10.25 to go. Ryerson 
Intercepts it, Sawyer Ryerson. Rips it around. Strasburg tries to hold the zone. Now he's down doing the splits. Oh my gosh. If an old man was down there doing the splits like that, he'd have a pulled groin. Thank gosh, Sawyer's got a little bit more flexibility than the old guys. Thiebert with the toe drag, cuts through, nice pass. Thiebert back in, goal! Thiebert finds Jackson Sorvig and the Thieves cut the lead to four to three. What a goal by Sorvig, but it was all set up by Jackson Thiebert's stick handling clinic through the Lakers defense and he laid a perfect pass on his stick which set up the backhand move past Veyu and it's four to three. Tranby gets it in. Thieves think they get it out. They haven't yet. Now a chance. Cutting through. And that's Gabe Comey. He's got two goals already today. He's feeling it. Although both goals have been literal tap-ins. I got a feeling his third goal, if he gets one, will be far well earned, more earned than his first two. We'll just say that. I'm sensing it. I'm on hat, hat trick alert right now for Gabe Comey. Here he goes. Can he get it now? Oh, he was setting up the drag and he got it tipped off his stick by the Thieve defender. Mertz, shallow angle, back door. No, it goes through the legs. His shallow angle pass got through the five hole of view and we're all tied at four apiece. Mertz, second of the day. Brigham Mertz, I think that's gonna be unassisted. And just like that, the surge that I predicted just surged for the Thieves. Lochner in his own zone, feeds Maurer. Maurer, quick backhand pass on the stick of Cooper. Cooper enters the zone. Cooper threw some skates. Tries to get it back to Maurer, can't. Now it's Green, Cooper Green tries to get it through, can't. Back the other way. Here comes Ryerson. Ryerson off the heel of his stick to center. Intercepted. Now a chance. Deacon backhand save. View with a couple big saves for the Lakers. With 8.34 to go. View keeps the score 4-4. The amount of grade A chances is unbelievable so far in the first half of this game. Eight goals total, but I think we've got at least 10 or 15 more grade A chances that these goaltenders, Marsden and View, have come up with. And looks like we got both goalies warming up. So we're going to see another set of goaltenders, see if they can come up with a better save percentage, goals allowed percentage, because they leave the game with four goals halfway through. That's an 8.00. Goals against average, sorry to report that to the parents, but this has just been an offensive onslaught from both teams. It's been fun to fun for a broadcaster, not fun for a goalie mom or a goalie dad or goalie grandparents. As we sneak down to about the halfway mark, so we'll see Basque coming in, and I wonder if we're gonna see the goaltender for the Lakers as well. That'd be J-Mo and Jamison Gravy back door. One too many passes. That would have been it right there. That would have been the 5-4. Clark back the other way. Clark through traffic. He shot, rims one right out, rings one right out the post. Good battle on our hands. Love these good games back and forth. Opportunities for both teams. Ryerson, Landon Ryerson. Feeds this one all the way down. We get an icing with 7.12 to go, and we do get our goalie change, both goalie changes, coming at the exact same, same time. Jamison Grady for the Lakers. 
And Blake Basky from the Thieves. 7-12 to go. It comes all the way out. Idle Beast will chase it. Weaving through Atiev, shot back door. Guess who? Gabe Comey on the back door. That would have been his third of the night. Atiev holds it. Slides it down low, gets it back. Atiev through some sticks, holds it, holds it longer. Feeds it, fakes it, nice pass. Gets it high, shot, Eve, save back sky. Atiev feeds it low again. Comey gets nudged off the puck. Now the back the other way. Ebert got a man poked away by the Lakers defender Mason West. Now Ebert again, little pole dr toe drag. Wow! Knocked off the puck at the last second. Nice hands from Thiebert. This kid is dangerous. Cutting through Atiev with guess who? Comey, he's got him, shot! And a save, doesn't catch it though, rebound, goal! Gabe Comey from Atiev. One, two, three, throw your hats onto the ice. The Lakers grab the lead, five to four. Now, if you're handing out a player of the game, do you give it to the guy who scores three goals? Or do you give it to the guy who sets him up, like literally puts it on a plate? Spreads the mustard and relish on the bread. I mean, did everything but eat it for him. Beautiful setups there by Miroslav. Tammy, got a feeling the thieves are not dead yet. Mertz, got two today. He's looking for his hat trick. And J-Mo says, no, not this time, Grant Mertz. Sorry, Brigham Mertz. There was a quarterback for the Wisconsin Badgers, Graham Mertz. And this is Brigham Mertz. Sorry, I confused the two. Lakers try to break it out. Mertz with it again. Deeks holds it. Now he'll circle the perimeter. Feeds it to the short side. Shot, save, Grady. Cooper Green will bank this one off the half ball. It'll go all the way down. Basque was tempted to play it. Ops against it with 4.55 to go. They'll get an offensive zone faceoff to the blocker side of Jamison Grady. Here from the Champlin Ice Forum, I'm Tony Scott. Thanks for tuning in to today's game. Clark can't come up with it. Sorvig after it. Ryerson feeds it in front. That one's kicked into the corner. And the Lakers will try to get it out. Unsuccessful that attempt. Now back the other way, Ryerson. Ryerson to Yee. Ye in a little early, and we get an offsides with 4.33 remaining. Lakers win the draw. Back to the far side. Chipping it up. Idle Beast. They'll rip it around. Sorvig holds it. Looking for Thiebert. Can't control it. Picked up Lochner. Lochner to Clark. Clark goes wide with it. Nice pass. Ryerson, Ryerson goes for the toe drag. Strasburg says, nah, not this time. Maurer gets in on the wrong side of the puck. Back. Ryerson, oh, he feeds it right through. 
Ebert can't come up with it. He slams the stick in frustration. Oh, entering Atiev enters a little early. And Lochner's like, what did I do? I didn't go off sides. He didn't see Atiev. Literally, I think he just kind of lost his balance a little bit. And as he was losing his balance, fell into the zone off sides. One touch pass by Coda. Onto the stick of Butcher. Butcher gets it in. Thieves go for the long pass. That's whistled off sides. Excuse me, icing. And we'll get a face off now to the blocker side of Blake Basky, Basky. Comes out, nice pass. Comey with the hat trick, just feeling it. Goes to his backhand, flips one in front, one timer. Good chance there for Claybo. In front, covering. Basky did not cover it. It did appear to be covered. And Jason Bergeron blows it dead with 2.34 to go here in the second. We'll announce our general sports player of the game. Following the game, a lot of good choices in a five to four affair. Shot on. Knocked away. Led through, good pass. Thiebert can't control it. Great defensive play by Simon Griffiths. Griffith's paths comes through. Thieves turn it over. Cooper's got some chances. Thiebert picks his pocket. Now Thiebert on Tranby. Thiebert through some traffic. Thiebert cuts through. Great defensive play by Griffiths. He's going to get called for maybe a slash or a hook because that was the last hope. Great play on both parts. Thiebert for the Deeks and Griffiths for the back check. Hooking call on Griffiths. But they would trade a two minute penalty for a breakaway with Mr. Hands himself, Thiebert. Jackson Thiebert, I'm gonna do a quick search on this kid. Man, he is fantastic. Holy smokes. Let's see if we can find out where Jackson Thiebert is from, holy. Come the Lakers back. Cooper can't control it. Picked up by Idle Beast, intercepted by Wesley Cooper. This one's flipped out. Red Lake Falls. Gotta love that. Jackson Thiebert. Hold out into the skates. Sorvig intercepted. Back the other way. Here comes Yi. Yi's Yee. shot juggled a little bit there by Basky. One minute remaining in the second. 5 4 lead by the Lakers. Tammy can't catch it. This one hops a stick. Yee with it. Shot on, glove save by Basky with 48 to go. 56 on the penalty to the Lakers. Griffith says 71 on the board. I'm pretty sure that's seven. Atiev, uh-oh. Oh, late change, late change.
Clark on the draw, back to Yee. Shot on, deflected by Clark. Clark's got a nice game today. Fakes to his backhand. Clark just eating some clock behind the net. Flip it in the air, right on the stick of Clark. Clark, shot, that one goes wide. Down low. Nice pass, oh, Tammy gets a stick on it. Can he get it out of the zone? He does. Good effort there as we wind down at the end of the second period. 5-4, the Lakers will head to the period break with the lead. We'll be back here on YHH in just a minute. Made in the heart of America's Dairyland, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. Them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots and lots of pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated. We're back live here from the Champlin Ice Forum. A good hockey game here tonight between the Lakers and the Thieves. In front, Sorveg shot. And so far, Grady's not let in a goal in his first half of the period. Idle Beast shot, that one goes just wide. Thiebert rims it around, picked up by Comey. Comey trying to break it out. Sorveg holds down the fort to Ryerson. loses it. Now back the other way. Claybo. Comey. Comey shot. That hits a crossbar and comes out. Comey's just feeling it right now. He's got his hat trick. He's like, hat trick? I want the Texas hat trick. Four goals. Feeds one in front. Atiev can't catch up to it. And now he runs over a charging defenseman, Chase Coda. Not intentionally, obviously. And back the way it comes Comey. Comey's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Takes it wide. Blocker save Bass guy. High slot, quick shot. Couldn't get rid of it. Mertz will bring it back. He's got a little bit of a one-on-one. -on -one with Cooper, takes it wide, leans it in. Holds it, loses it. Now Coda, Coda, nice pass to Cooper Green. Cooper Green on the breakaway, cuts in, shot, rebound, goal! Great save by Bass Guy, but can't contain the rebound, and Cooper Green picks up his second of the night, and it's a 6-4 lead in favor of the Lakers. They've had two two-goal leads, three two-goal leads now. Two to nothing, four to two, and now six to four. 
That was a pretty one. Mason West, shot in, goal. That one gets deflected by Wesley Cooper. And now it's a seven to four lead in favor of the Lakers. Starting to rack up the points. They'll bring it through, dangling shot by West. Shot, that one goes this wide. That would have been two goals and one shift for Cooper. Shot, goal! Cooper Green gets another one. That's the hat trick for Green. And it's eight to four. It was five to four, two minutes and 38 seconds ago. And the Lakers have added three goals. Timeout, Thieves. Timeout, Thieves. And we'll take a timeout as well. We'll take a quick message from our sponsor and we'll be back in just a minute on YHH. Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Crew Pub Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. Down 8-4, Thieves grab a timeout. Let's see if they can get some inspiration. Quick goal here, maybe. Mertz, got the GR stickers on his helmet. Dumps it down low, Jake Maurer. Rims it around. Finds Landon Ryerson, Ryerson finds Yee. He's got a jet packs on his skates. Gets it in, quickly shot. Leaves loose, goal, big save by Basque. Two big saves. One while laying down and one sprawled across his own crease, keeping the score 8-4. <laughs> this has been just a absolute gunfight today. Both teams with some great chances. Now the goalie's making some big saves too. Mertz leans in, he takes a wrister, blocker save. Clark can't catch up to that one. Taken away, Idlebeast. Knocked off the puck. Back the other way, long pass. Ye can't catch up to it. That's gonna be offside. Just hopped his stick. He's a little frustrated, I'm sure. Hot competitor, very hot competitor. Get, you get your money's worth out of Easton Ye every time he hits the ice, out, comes off your bench. Atiev. Sorvig on the draw. This one comes back to Bach. Bach flips it in. Tried to ram that one past Grady. He said nothing doing. And he covers it up with 10.06 to go. Jackson Liu.
Sorvig. Ryerson. They battle for it. Feeding it in front, it's loose. Good chance there for Thiebert. They get it back high, back down low. Tranby pushes Thiebert off the puck. Thiebert takes it from him though. Thiebert pushed by Tranby. And <laughs> Thiebert didn't like that. He cross-checked him back, ref didn't see it. Comey gets it in. Full line change for the Lakers. Griffiths pokes it off the stick and gets it out to neutral. And three Lakers converge on it like bees to honey. Shot, save Basque with nine to go here in the third. Shot. Oh, that one goes just through the crease. Cutting through. Now Cooper lays it down for Coda. Coda can't get his stick, gets it through. Cooper gets it back. Shot goal. That was shallow angle. Right through the legs. Mason West grabs a goal. And it's now 9-4 to four in favor of the Lakers. Coda retreats, loses it. Now picking it up is West. West rims it to Cooper. Now playing it out is Butcher, loses it. Now leaning in, back to the point. Quick shot, deflected away. Shot saved by Grady with 8.05 to go. is running five minutes anytime. Clark heads one up to Ryerson. He can't control it. Now Maurer plays one off the half wall. At center ice. Bach to Ryerson. We've called Ryerson's name a bunch today for the Thieves. Brady plays it back to Maurer. Now slithering his way through is Lochner. Lochner gets it into the zone. Clark picks up the loose change on the blue line. And Thiebert tries to go back. Clark just takes it from him just like a bully. On a great back check play. He's had a couple of those today, Austin has. Now he goes through, his hard work's gonna pay out. Austin Clark, back to Yee! Pass off the mark with 6.43 to go. Sorvig finds Ryerson. Ryerson will dump it in. Grady, who's shut the door for the Lakers. Came in halfway, went a 4-4 game, or a 5-4 game, and hasn't allowed a goal yet. Calming influence in the crease today for JMO. This one pops up, picked up by Comey. Speaking of calming influences, this kid's got three goals today. His line mate Atiev got, got, has three assists. Body check in the corner. This one comes out. All the way, hops the stick of Strasburg. Bass guy comes out to play it, flips it to Strasburg as we go under six minutes to go in the game. What do we got here? A little hand passer with 5.38 to go in the game.
Kicked in four, shot by Tranby <clears throat> over the net. Griffiths slips one through. Knocked away. Tranby gets it back. Hoists one out on his backhand to Comey. Comey collides with Atiev. Comey leans in, tries to toe drag it to Atiev. Can't get it there. Now Thiebert putting on another stick handling clinic. Now that was more like a camp. Spend all day with it. Hold on, Atiev. Looking, man in front, goal. Atiev finds Griffiths, and it's 10 to four, and that is Atiev's fourth assist, and they've all been pretty. And he will be our player of the game. Believe it or not, you got two hat tricks, Comey and Green, and we're gonna give the player of the game to the kid who made all the passes. And that's Miroslav Atiev for the Lakers. Saved by Grady. They dump it in behind the net, goes Bass Guy. 304 to go in this game. Cooper back to the point. Holding it. This is Lochner. Lochner to Coda. Coda slips one down to Cooper. Cooper can't control it. This is Jackson Lou. Lou's pass is intercepted. We'll feed this one back. Holding it in his West. West kind of fans on it. And now back the other way. Come the Thieves. Ryerson. Can't quite get the pass from Lou. And entering the zone is Coda. Coda skating through, finally finds some space, feeds it down low, one touch pass to Lochner as we come up on the two minute mark. One touch pass, shot, save Bass Guy. Under two to go. Good hustle there by Yi. What I say, every shift that kid gives it 100%. Mertz poking through it, loses it, picked up by Yi. Yi crosses the line, tries to toe drag it through. He's pushed off the puck. Good defense by the Thieves. And it's in front. One timer finds it through the hole there. That is Landon Ryerson, his first of the game. He's surely worked for that one. He's had a lot of good chances. Hebert can't control it. Gets it in, we're under a minute to go. Ryerson enters the zone, takes it wide, gets hooked a bit, tries to feed it back to the point, Strasburg. He'll just hold it in. And out come the Lakers. In the zone, they feed it through. Chance, another chance, and the Thieves are able to thwart that attempt. Clark can't hold the zone. Here comes Thiebert back again. 
Shot on, Grady makes the save, we're under 10 to go. The Lakers are gonna pick up a big win here in the Youth Elite League. And a 10 to four win over the Thieves. Our general sports player of the game is Miroslav Atyev. Congratulations to him. He'll get five free skate sharpenings from General Sports thanks to our other sponsors, Lots of Matza Pizza and Summit Orthopedic. Thank you for tuning in to our triple header tonight here from Champlin Park. I am Tony Scott. Thanks to my producer, Tom. Have a safe drive home.